everyone. It's been quite a month already. <laughs> the energy that I get this time of year just pours into every facet of my business and I'm just doing my best to kind of balance all of these moving parts. But I'm also trying to like soak up the beauty that's all around me and not let that just like vanish <laughs> because it's like you blink and suddenly all the flowers are gone or like the fields go from bright green to yellow and brown. And I really want to be present in the moment and day by day just like soak up something new or something beautiful. The good thing about my job is that I often paint uh, outside, I paint on location. So I actually take my work to these beautiful places and I can spend that time observing the subject, soaking all that beauty in and putting it into my work. My little courtyard is full of flowers right now. It's amazing. It's just, I can't believe every like crack and crevice just has something growing. <laughs> and the bright yellow flowers that you see all around, I think are called Welsh poppies. And they basically just grow like weeds. They, I had never planted any of them and they are growing everywhere. And they just, they don't even need that much soil because they'll grow in the cracks of pavement stones. So it's just wonderful. <laughs> I saw a comment the other day that was like, do you realize how lucky you are? Of course I do. Life is so random and yet it all somehow feels like it was meant to be, like things happen for a reason. Moving to a new country was the hardest thing I've ever had to do <laughs> in, on so many levels, not just the logistics of it, but emotionally, like the distance I now have between me and my friends and family back home, that's really hard and I, do, I have to deal with that on a daily basis. Um, but I'm embracing it for what it is, like I'm in this beautiful place, I have my husband and my beautiful cats and a thriving art business. So I can't just dwell on the what ifs or the things that I miss all the time. And I am constantly reminded how weird and wonderful the the randomness that led me here is. <laughs> like I just feel so lucky. I worked my butt off for years to get to this point and Wolfie and I have moved multiple times around until we landed in this little spot, which we love now. The thing about the internet and social media is you don't always see the steps or the sacrifices that people make to get to the point that they're at. Like if you start following someone, they already have a life you envision yourself having someday. It, it, you don't know what they went through to get there or how much they gave up or changed in their life or, you know, it's, you're seeing one part of the story. So don't forget to be grateful for every single thing that you have. And if you want something, start making a plan and working towards it. That's what I've done my whole life. Just make a plan, find little ways to take baby steps towards that plan and embrace the randomness as well. You never know where the side path is going to lead you. <laughs> Oh my God, it's starting to rain. Going inside, gonna get some work done anyway. It was nice chatting. <laughs>
I moved away from home when I was 18 to go to art school. And between student loans and multiple jobs, I've been able to remain independent for my entire adult life. And during the 19 years since leaving my childhood home in upstate New York, I've moved from city to suburb to city, stumbling along as I figured out how to achieve my goals. The only thing I've ever known is that I'm an artist. But if you told 18-year-old Sarah that I'd someday be making a living doing what I love, living in the Scottish Highlands, I'd never believe you. Whenever I visit a city now, it feels like going back in time. I associate my move to Scotland with nature, with quiet, with wild beauty. But in the city, I'm just overwhelmed by the chaos. The feeling of constantly rushing around, the noise, the artificial lights, the lack of nature. I just feel so lost and out of place. And as I learned that about myself, I made changes and sacrifices over the years that has led me to my current lifestyle, my current situation where I can be completely immersed in nature whenever I want. I'm not judging anyone else for their life choices. I have friends who thrive in the city, but I'm really grateful that as I learned about my own needs, I was brave enough to work towards this life. I knew that being able to immerse myself in nature would help me thrive. There are always going to be people in your life who tell you that your goals are impossible, or maybe you just feel stuck in whatever situation you're in. There have been many times in my life when I felt stuck or felt like I would never achieve my bigger goals. What got me through that is to become more self-aware. And in order to do that, you have to ask yourself the hard questions. What are you surrounding yourself with? Who are you surrounding yourself with? What do you do with your spare time? What do you enjoy doing the most? And instead of focusing on what you don't have, be grateful for every single thing that you do have. And as you take those baby steps towards your goals, keeping that gratitude at the forefront of your heart will help you stay grounded and joyful in the moment. Nature has taught me the power of being grateful for every single moment because the beauty of nature is so fleeting. The seasons come and go, the flowers bloom and then fall. And although this impermanence can be sad at times, I'm also reminded that everything comes back. The cycle continues. No matter what your favorite season is, you can count on it returning next year.
Welcome back to the garden. It keeps raining off and on, but in a way, that's what's making it feel so magical and enchanted. So I'm gonna show you around, show you how much it has changed since our last visit, and hopefully you'll just get lots of beautiful old garden aesthetics. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Also, yes, I have new glasses. Thank you. 